Minister of Interior, Minister of Defense, uh, Service uh, Chiefs. Today is a very sad day in the history of this country. This is very unprecedented. It is shocking and it's very painful. It's something that we are not expecting in this country. But as the minister said, it has happened. It's unfortunate. We have to see how best we can work together so that it will not happen again in this country. We call on these meetings so that I can be adequately informed about the incident. Listening to the security chiefs, they are doing everything possible. And arrests have been conducted. I think they have already progressed with this. I will extend condolences to the families of the deceased and speedy recovery to the female police officers. It's an act of terror. This country is a very peaceful country. But they said one rotten potato spoiled the back. We have few bad elements in this country who want to destabilize this country to intimidate the police intimidate the Gambian people and try to cause confusion but we will not allow it to happen as president and commander in chief it is my responsibility to make sure that I maintain peace and stability and make sure that all Gambians are secure and I will not relent to that I work with the security and work with the Gambian people so that we can all enjoy the peace and stability of this country. I will call on the general public to come and support the police. The police need your support. Without your support, it will be very, very, very difficult for the police to do their job as expected. It's sad. These young people lost their lives in active duty. National duty for that matter, contributing their quota to national development. It is a shock to the entire Gambian country, Gambia. Because we were not expecting something like this to happen in this country. But we will get to the bottom of this. And as we get to the bottom, we will work together to improve our security, and to continue 24 hours policy in this country to make sure we guarantee security, peace, and stability to the Gambian people. Honorable Ministers, Security Chiefs, I want you to work day and night to make sure This event that happened will not happen again in this country in our history. We will make a pledge to any relevant information that will lead to the arrest of the actors of this act of terror. We will make a pledge of one million dollars to anybody who will lead us to the arrest of this individual. Because we cannot allow our country to be destabilized. 
to undermine our peace and development. We will not allow the power to use. So council members, we will continue to work 24 hours to make sure that our country is secure. <coughs> I thank the Gambian people for maintaining peace in this country. And I thank the security forces for the good job you are doing. Keep it up. We are together in this, and it's our responsibility. And we will know that it's our responsibility. For the families of the disease, we extend our condolences to them. We'll be with them during these trying times. As we lost our very young officers, very hardworking officers, officers who are doing their best to secure this country. I thank all of you for listening. I'm speaking with a very heavy heart. Very, very disturbed. And really, to me, it is a surprise. It's not something that I was expecting, especially at this time in the gap, as we are approaching the tourism season. Thank you.